Well, hello. How is everyone today on this Friday? Hey, this is Tina, the Keto Coach with Friday Night Treats with Tina. How is everyone? I took a break last week and everything has some things I had to do. Other than every everything else is great. Everything is cool. Beans. Yes, it is. Today, since we're getting ready for this Valentine's Day weekend, not just the day, but the weekend before the actual day, I decided to go ahead and create something a little different that I think you all may like. And I think this weekend is also for the Super Bowl. Yes, you can make this for the Super Bowl weekend also too. I'm going to make some keto um, white chocolate raspberry bars. You can call them bars, brownies, whatever you want to call them. Yes, yes indeed. So other than that, I'm back on schedule. I'm going to put in more steps, more time with my working out regimen like I used to. I mean, I never stopped but I was minimizing. Still had the same amount of days in the week, but minimizing. So this time my goal, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, to get 15,000 steps. And of course, Tuesdays and Thursdays, that's when I work out on my weights. But I'm considering, considering adding the steps to the weight on Tuesdays and Thursdays. As you all know, I'm just a regular person doing keto. And I do have some challenges of my own that I'm working through and working at because I still have goals that I want to meet for me. And one thing about this, you'll notice everybody's different. Everybody goes about it a different way. You have to find your niche and how the ketogenic lifestyle or carnivore and or carnivore lifestyle works for you. And I'm here to help you with that. So please feel free to contact me. I'm a real person doing this and I've been at this for a long time 100 pounds down still want to lose about maybe 45 or 50 more for me that's what I'd like to do especially since I'm so petite you know and everything so I really want to do that that's really my goal so other than that let's get with these brownies for this Valentine's weekend I'm not even going to say day but weekend because it's in the middle of next week ill okay and Super Bowl weekend, we're going to make these white chocolate brownie, well, white chocolate keto raspberry bars, or however you say it. Here we go. The first thing I want to do is add a stick of butter, regular unsalted butter. Remember your desserts. Very rarely you'll find desserts that will ask for salted butter. Sometimes you do, especially if some people might be making um, something pursuant to, what is it, the salted caramel thing or something, whatever. But even if you don't have it available, just use the regular butter. I use always use regular butter. And make sure the butter is softened. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my sweetener, like three-fourths cup, and you know I like to mix my blends together. Trying this new one, this is like a monk fruit from the popular Truvia brand. So I'm going to take this. Like I said, I'm going to mix it together with the brown, the keto friendly sweetener that's brown and the one that's the, this white one. It smells kind of nice. I'm going to try this one out. Um, and then I'm going to take my brown sweetener. I love this one. And it smells so good. Stuff like cookies and brownies, I like, whoops, I like mixing them both together, you know. That's, uh oh, that's what I like to do. Um, let me make sure I have three fourths cup. I really don't want a full cup because I don't want them to be too sweet. So I'm gonna take some of this brown sweetener out and put some back in here. Okay, so we're back at three fourths cup. Seal this up. Yes, guys, I'm considering definitely, I know I've mentioned it before, really being strict keto. And I explain what that is, you know. So I'm going to take both of these sweeteners together, together and mix them with this butter. You don't necessarily have to use a, a blender or anything like this. For well, this recipe is pretty easy. And the next thing I'm going to do is a little 
almond extract. You all know how I like my almond extract with desserts, certain desserts. I think it gives some desserts a nice flavor. So I'm going to use a tablespoon of the almond extract. Put that in there. Hi, my Instagram family. I see you out there. Hey, I'm waving back at you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> and of course, you out here, my Facebook family, and all my links with my Facebook um, groups. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next, I'm going to add one egg. You can use any size as long as it's not a small egg. <laughs> You can even get away with using the medium one with this. Mix this all together. Yeah, so um, I think what I've just been doing, when I say general exercise, and just my standard walk and my maybe a little bit of Zumba, but I'm going to amp it up more to make sure I get my 15,000 steps in um, at least three days a week before let's say two o'clock mm, I'm gonna be realistic let's just say before six o'clock in the evening you can do that next I'm gonna go ahead and get my almond flour let me cut this open this is a nice fresh bag try this one this is by King Arthur so let's give it a whirl the bag is a little narrow for my measurement for measurement's sake, but it's okay. Um, this is going to be one and a half cups. And I think I can scoop, put this, my half a cup in here to get some out. Yeah, so any of you having any challenges or things that you're experiencing, you know, just chit chat with me in regards to trying to get your life back, get it together, you know. Next, I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of baking powder and xanthan gum. Get my baking powder. And my xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is like something that helps bind and keep everything together. I use this even for a lot of my keto gravies and those keto fries that everybody was making last year and I still make that are absolutely delicious. And here, a little bit of salt. You know, I eyeball the salt. And I'm going to combine all these ingredients together. Yeah, exercising and working out, that's important. And also you make sure you, um, whatever you need, adjustments for your dietary practices or program you need to do, you know. So luckily, you know, I do have a, a support and encouragement at home with the husband and everything, so that's a great thing. And um, we help each other in so many ways, so that's truly a blessing. So I'm mixing all of this together. <clears throat> See how this comes out? And, <clears throat> excuse me, the next thing, I'm going to add my sugar-free white chocolate chips. I'm going to use about a cup. Maybe not quite a full cup, but about a cup. Put, these, put this on the side. And... I'm using actual fresh raspberries. This time of year, raspberries are pretty good. They're rather sweet. Raspberries are one of those fruits that seems like it's good when it's complementing other fruits. But this is um this is excellent. So I've been doing these raspberries. About a cup of fresh raspberries is okay. See how easy this is to put together? And it looks nice. 
So you're going to smash them around. I'm gonna get rid of my bowl. Now I'm going to use a different size um, tray than what I had earlier that I'm going to show you. Isn't that beautiful? For you and your Valentine's Day sweetheart? So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the side. I'm going to grab I'm going to grab my Pyrex and I'm going to spray it with avocado oil. One thing, is about, one thing about these bars, brownies, when you first make them, it takes about an hour to cook. Hour and ten minutes on 350. But still eyeball it and watch, watch them because I have one of those um, toaster oven fry things and all of that stuff so um and to be honest I really don't care for the way it cooks it seems like it make you have to cook things longer so I just rather use a regular oven so I'd say regular oven 350 for like 45 minutes and eyeball it it'll turn a little brown at the top edges and just take it out and let it cool and you really should let it cool for a couple of hours so it can firm up again because they won't get like a cookie but they'll be more like a brownie and you know me and my little spatula I'll get everything put this over here and I'm going to spread this out in my pan And I'm going to put these in the oven, as I said, on 350. Try it in a regular oven for like 45 minutes. You know me, I don't like to waste. Okay. So no matter what the health challenge is or the um, obstacle, because sometimes, especially as we get older, it is more difficult to lose weight and get down to where you are, need to be, because especially if you're a woman, because of your hormones, um, because of um, your bone density, all kinds of things to factor in. And sometimes it can just be slow, and you just have to be very patient with it. So let me spread these out in here. And so I'm an extremely patient person. I have no problem in that area whatsoever. I find it amazing when people find out that I'm a keto coach. It's funny how they'll still talk about, oh, I had a salad today. And I'm thinking, oh my God, it's not the same thing as your standard American diet, the SAD, interesting, that's the acronym SAD. It's not the same thing <laughs> at all. <laughs> that is hilarious. You see what I did? So, me and the household, we were already munching on the ones that I already made in the smaller batch. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do. Guess what? I have a fabulous piece right here. See that? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Got your raspberries. I'm going to break it apart so you all can really see. Real raspberries are in there. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? And of course, I already know what it tastes like because we've been tasting it most of the morning. <laughs> Oh, mm. this is so good. 
you can get you some sugar free plain vanilla ice cream <clears throat> or you can go ahead and get you some whipped cream with some keto friendly powdered sweetener and some vanilla extract almond extract and make some whipped cream you can put it with this but this is excellent by itself mm. so good and remember I call it Friday night treats well Friday night treats with Tina because even with keto some of us that have more of a challenge even if we do count and consider our macros and exercise and other things that we have going on in our bodies this is a treat you still have to minimize it and keep it to a, keep it to a minimum like for this actually today this one I'm taking this um, to some friends so they want to try it and everything so that one but the other one that I just the batch that I made up I'm going to go ahead and um, cook that later on this weekend well I might save the batter which you can do for next weekend and bake it for them you know so I think for the next couple of weeks I'm going to just be making some nice savory meals for everyone some savory things some keto tips and one thing about keto make sure that you're eating your breakfast lunch and dinner and it's keto friendly and specific to you and learn to count your macros that's your fats the fats carbohydrates and proteins it's different for your age your height you know your weight what you're trying to accomplish your goals and all of that stuff so I'm really really trying to eyeball that for me because I would love to get the rest of my weight off I mean it may take until the end of the year which is fine but I still stay the course so I'm here to encourage you from the bottom of my heart any one of you that may be struggling feel free to um, inbox me if you got a question and if I don't know it and I'm not a person that claims to know stuff if I don't know it I'm going to refer you to some other resource to get the information that you need and I do consider that yes everybody's different and the one thing I want to say please consult your doctor remember I am not a doctor I don't have any type of medical licensures nothing like that the only license I have is a driver's license that's it so please consult and talk to your physician primary care doctor or whatever have you and yes um, a lot of doctors are starting to see that this is an appropriate way of eating because it is benefiting many people in so many ways and so many levels not just physically but even psychologically but um and there are there is um, you can get a list of doctors that are specifically that are congruent with the carnivore low carb and keto lifestyle that can help you along the way with whatever your challenges are or if you're just looking to have optimal health and I'm just looking to have optimal health <clears throat> I don't want a lot of the challenges and problems that I see people my age and older tend to have so I'm lucky so far look knock on wood for sure but I do everything I can in my power to make sure everything's good and I'm here to help you too so I just want to say thank you for tuning in and checking me out this is Tina the Keto Coach with Friday Night Treats with Tina and you all have a fantabulous happy fun weekend love you all bye bye